Hello everyone, I hope you are enjoying your weekend so far. Not a bad one, I have to say, right? Other than those icy cold temperatures Saturday morning, today really shaped up. Now let's take a look at our weather cameras. There are a couple things that we are going to want to touch on in this forecast. No major weather events, no big snowstorms to worry about. However, temperatures are going to be the big driver of what you need to wear this week. So first off, let's go ahead and take a peek here at our skies. This has been since four o'clock again. We were lacking in the sunshine today. It was very cloudy and it was also pretty breezy through the afternoon. However, what we lacked in sunshine, we made up for in temperatures. Here is a look at those numbers. We hit 48 today for our high. Now, our low temperature today is our average high that we would typically see on this day. So I'd say that's a pretty good improvement. Um, usually we're starting off the day in the low 20s. So a major rebound from what we saw on Saturday. And now tonight we are about uh, three to 15 degrees warmer than what we were last night, depending on where you are. However, I mentioned that wind chill is a factor today. It was pretty breezy. The winds are dying down. We've still got some gusts in the teens, pushing 20. Most of us, however, feel like the upper 30s. Now, when it comes to satellite and radar, ignore that little front there. That's actually sunk south a little bit further. What we have going on is really not much. We do, however, see a cold front that is dropping over tonight. It's a very weak cold front, but it is sparking here. Maybe a sprinkle or two in our far southeast counties. Maybe even Ashtabula saw a sprinkle or two throughout the uh, early evening hours. And now you'll notice we've got some snow to the north. So this is kind of a line here that I'm expecting to drop through. It doesn't have a lot of moisture tonight. So if you do see anything, you're likely in this region right here and it would be a flurry that you're waking up to on Monday morning. We do have some colder air pouring in behind that frontal boundary uh, by early morning tomorrow. So like I said, not a ton of activity in the near term. However, temperatures are all over the place, I've gotta say. So we'll take a look at that. Very unseasonable weather is to come over the next several days. Here's a look at your Sunday night for you. Things are quiet. I mentioned maybe a flurry or two you're waking up to near Chardon, Manor, Painesville even Ashtabula possible as well. But the drive to work tomorrow on Monday should be fine. It's gonna be colder, I'll say that, mid 20s to upper 20s, maybe 30s for all of us. And skies will be cloudy to start the day. However, the clouds slowly back off as we head towards the afternoon. And we'll wrap up the day highs in the upper 30s, maybe low 40s, the further west you are. Then the clouds just make their way right back in. We're going to start the day off on Tuesday on a pretty warm note. We'll be in the 30s, probably 10 degrees above the average. But then as we get towards the afternoon, we are well above the average, probably pushing 50 in many areas. However, I wish it came with sunshine. It instead comes with rain showers. So this is going to be our first batch of rain that rolls in for the work week. And behind it, some colder air will push in for your Wednesday morning. With that said, colder air does not stick around. We are going to be back in the upper 40s for our Wednesday afternoon. So the trend here over the next eight days is going to be warmer than average. We have two days that I am tracking to be in the 50s and Thursday 56 for our highs. What I've got in there. It all bottoms out by the weekend. I will say there is some recovery. It looks as we head towards our Valentine's Day holiday. But as for any snow, it is February. There's not much over the next eight days. So this is through next Sunday. If we even push it out further, Monday, Tuesday, no additional snow. So when is the chance for any snow? If we have temperatures in the 50s, that's not gonna produce snow, right? Well, first let's talk about your commute tomorrow. We're looking for the 30 range as you're heading to work, cloudy skies, scattered clouds for the afternoon. And of course that sun is going down later and later this time of year, March 12th. We're gonna have to set those clocks forward. Highs tomorrow right around 40. All right, here's that eight day forecast for you. And I'll also talk about when we could see the chance for snow. The best chance for that is going to be Friday night into Saturday as temperatures hover right around or just below that freezing point. So Saturday, it looks like we could get, you know, a, a decent batch. We could be looking for an inch in some isolated areas. And it does stay on the cooler side, or I should say average on Sunday. Monday, we're back into the 40s. So no real big breaks of cold in the next eight days. A lot of weather activity it looks here on our eight day forecast, but tomorrow I'd say 90% of us are gonna be clear. Tuesday, we have that afternoon frontal boundary with rain showers. Wednesday, that's gonna be at night that we see that rain roll in. 
and then Thursday is going to be what looks to be the wettest day of the week, but also the warmest. So make sure you guys are staying tuned to find out when that dry time will be. It's still a ways out, so I don't want to give you timeline right now, you know, two to three days out is going to be a, a better look at what the timing of that rain will be. And then by Friday, things really start to dry out. Saturday, plan on a snow shower. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead, drop a comment in there in the comment section, and I will do my best to answer those if it's something that I didn't already cover in this video. And aside from that, I hope you all have a wonderful work week ahead. Take care.